Hi, I'm Marco Locatelli, and this is the first video about the use of the Silicon Photomultiplier Kit. In this video, I will show you how to measure one of the main features of each Silicon Photomultiplier, the dark count rate. The dark count rate is represented by the registering number of counts in absence of light. These counts are generated by thermal noise in the sensor and limits its single photon detection capability. It is measured like a frequency and it is essential in determining the silicon photomultiplier characteristics. In figure, you can see the setup diagram. The SIPM holders housing the sensor under test with their old sealant connected to the power supply and amplification unit, PSAO hereafter. The output of the PSAO is connected to the digitizer. The PSAO and the digitizer are connected to the PC through the USB cables. The LabVIEW graphical user interface supports the user into setting the device's parameters and performing the measurements. Let's take a look at the interface. The left upper side refers to the PSAO. The left bottom side refers to the digitizer. The right side refers to the visualization of the measurements and of the data storage. Check the communication port of the PSAO. Start the PSAO. Switch on the channel you want to measure. Set the SIPM nominal operation voltage and set the gain of the PSAO amplifier. The figure shows a typical scope trace of a SIPM. The signal of different number of firing cells is well defined. The different traces, even in absence of light, can be referred to different photoelectron level. The DCR of a SIPM is the frequency of the pulses that exceed the threshold of one half photon electron. To measure it with the kit, select the staircase tab in the graphical section. The staircase allows to scan the rate of the SIPM signals, which are over a certain threshold. The graphical user interface allows to change the starting and final values of the threshold, the step, the number of acquired points for each threshold value, and the gate time for the counting. The starting value of the threshold should be the 0.5 photoelectron level, 10 millivolt in this example. Click on the refresh button and a staircase will be executed and displayed. Each flat region represents a different photoelectron level. Changing the bias and gain setting of the PSAO will cause different staircases and this allows to obtain very precise measurements of the SIPM DCR in every operational condition. For more detailed information, please refer to the application note that you can find on our website.